Welcome back, ladies and gents. Hello, hello, hello to Virus. So, as you can see, the new update's out. <laughs> Got my lovely swine and bovine mask. I missed it last year uh, because I just didn't play the game for like eight months. Um, but yeah, so the new update that I was speaking about last episode came out like yesterday or earlier today. I don't quite know when. Um, but it added in a couple of new things. So at some point later this month, I believe it's between the 25th and the 1st, we can unlock some new outfits and masks and things, which are going to be pretty cool. We can get like a scarecrow mask. Um, there is a jack-o'-lantern mask, a hockey mask. There was also like they were doing some sort of competition thing, and I was gonna I was gonna enter it, but international winners got in-game stuff, and I was like, I don't need in-game stuff. Like, what's the point? Um, but yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff going on. They apparently have fixed flying vehicles, which is very nice. We are going to test that out, <laughs> hopefully pretty soon. Uh, this one hasn't been attacked by a blood feral, so probably not right now. But we're going to start focusing on moving into the lock and key base. So we're going to head over there, and we're going to try and find the two play cards that are covering it. Because... We're on 1,400 influence. By the time we take out those two play carts, um, we can already recruit one person for free from one of the enclaves. So then we just need a bonus 750 or um, or to like improve our reputation with the other one. Forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, let's load up a gas can real quick. We'll go grab it from this materials outpost because I actually forgot to get one when we were at the base. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go on a little bit of a a hunt, a hunt for some bloody play carts because I want to claim that base. I'm gonna try and take out as many play carts as I can this episode, um, because why not? But yeah, so they've added little markers, little indication markers for when there's still loot inside of a building because of a destroyed play cart, which is really, really dope. So the one that we took out at the gun shop, like, two episodes ago, back in... In fact, it might be in episode one. Uh, the one that we took out there has now been removed because I went there on my way back and looted it, which is pretty cool. So, that's going to be a really, really dope way... Oh, here's a pretty good example. <laughs> it's going to be a really dope way of keeping track of what we've got and what we haven't got. I hear a feral. Do I hear a feral? I think I hear a feral. Get wrecked. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a feral in there. Maybe they were just some loud zombies. Did a zombie just spawn right behind me? I think it did. I mean, we can get a few of these things for the car, but I don't want to be grabbing too much. Oh, okay, there was only a rucksack and a knife. I'm not too bothered about that right now. We've got a spare rucksack and stuff. I'm going to leave uh, that stuff in there because I don't want to clog up the back of my van already we've got enough stuff on us right now i don't want to be worrying about anything else so yeah we've got a warlord mission that's popped up i should probably be playing as dice to be honest but i've got a bit of a plan so my plan is we're going to go over to lock and key and search it and see if we can find out are we friends with those our oh, members can't be recruited um, and we're going to find out where the play carts are. And then we're going to hopefully take out one of them with Pagan. And then we're going to set up an outpost. Or at some point before we're going to set up an outpost. Because I'm upgrading my command centre. And then we can switch and take out the other one as dice. Which should get him quite a bit of influence. But we're going to drive over there now. Um, they apparently added in a new weapon. Uh, like a machete weapon. I'm not quite sure how you get it. I don't know if it's on like the bounty related stuff But I'm still gonna be working through the bounty stuff. I want to get like 
the skeleton hoodie and whatever else and have our guys kitted out in like Halloween themed gear since that's when this playthrough is going to sort of be taking place. <laughs> um, they're not going to have like any kind of specific gimmick behind it, it's just it's Halloween, why not have a little bit of fun? Um, at least for this playthrough, why not? I didn't get to do it last year and there's a lot more masks now. Obviously for some characters, we're probably not going to be able to equip them with like Halloween themed gear, but I mean, there's like lizard hoodies and octopus hoodies and things like that, so depending on how many people we get, we can still give them okay outfits, but I don't want to go book wild just recruiting whoever we want. I kind of want to keep it around a low decent number <laughs> because I do not want to manage too many people. I feel like last playthrough was pretty good, mostly because everybody that we got had really great skills. We had like such a good skill set and like, the only real weak person, in my opinion, was probably either Bacta or one of the ones that we got, like, very late on that I hadn't really played as too much. Uh, okay, let's go to the top of here. I'm getting flashbacks to, like, my first Nightmare playthrough when I got stuck at the top of here. <laughs> and I tried to, like, climb over something. Okay, so there's one. Uh, guessing the other one's around here. I don't know. I want to. I want to go to the top of here and search for it. How many is that covered by? Okay, it's covered by two, so they're probably the same one. I put hair product in my well in my hair, <laughs> and the smell is very overwhelming at the moment. It's like the nicest smelling thing I have. And I decided to do, like, I'm messing around with my haircut at the moment because I have an undercut. Uh, so it's like shaven down on the sides and then longer on top. Um, and I had it quite short and I was sort of like quiffing it. Um, but I've decided to grow it back out to how I used to have it, like a while back. Um, but I need to like grow it out lower, if that makes any sense. Okay, so those two that we need to go after, that one's okay. Um, and it's in like an awkward phase at the moment where some of the hair is like not really long enough to style properly, but like is long enough to be really fucking messy whenever- Oh, pardon me, whenever I get up in the morning. In the morning. As if I get up in the morning. But you get my gist. So I was like, okay, well I'm going to style my hair and kind of like- start to condition it to sort of going the way that I want and stuff. So it's like 9pm <laughs> and I just, I went to do my hair and now like my entire living room stinks of this hair product. It's a good smell. It's just strong. It's just quite strong. Okay, um, I'm going to take out this one so that we have a better chance of setting up an outpost, and then I think we need to take over the Tartan Mart, so that- Oh, is that covered by two? Oh, bollocks. Uh, that's not ideal. Okay, mmm. See, even that there is covered by those three. So we're gonna have an issue with changing characters. Unless we sort of, like, go further down here and claim one. Okay, I guess we'll go over there and we'll take out this one that's closest. Because, you know, why make life difficult if we're going to have a hard enough time swapping characters? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Not in here on this day! Right, let me go grab... Uh, the beetle mallet. In fact, I'm going to keep that on me just in case I need to switch back to it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna give it like maybe a whack or two before we set that off. Plague hearts must give off tremendous heat. I need a break. Oh god. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Go away. 
Um, so, I wanted to talk about, like, Halloween-related content. Because every single year I usually do, like, an ace or something, or just something spooky kind of related to sort of release around Halloween. I think, like, one year I did a video on Outlast. Um, I think maybe me and a friend ended up doing, like, a couple of episodes of Outlast when we tried to stream it or something. I can't quite remember. Um, but Outlast has been something that I sort of mess around with on sort of Halloween-y time. <laughs> um, but this year I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of a game, and that is Metro Last Light. I've mentioned very, very briefly that uh, I'm working on Metro Last Light, and that is going to be this year's sort of Halloween-related thing. Um, I don't really know... Why Metro? I guess it's just sort of like vaguely spooky and I'm gonna play for it anyway, so I figured why not. Um, and I sat down last night to record a bunch of it and I love it. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's so ridiculously bleak and horrific and I just love it. Absolutely not, Bagruff. It's weird that there's no ferals. I don't want to jinx myself. But it is weird that there's no ferals right now. Come on, come on. No, no. Okay, ho, oh, ho, 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 ho. Leo? Oh, okay. So it's identified Trumbull as being a good place to go. That's weird. What is this? Oh, there's like a new logo for this. Hello. A potential radio outpost. So we would get a signal booster. What would a signal gain or improve computers? Okay. Hmm. We've never really done anything like that. Right, let's go. We're going to go grab the vehicle. We'll go around to the other play cart and see if we can take it out. You shit. And you, come here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. And then we've got enough influence to move in. We just now need the extra two people. So we'll go back round afterwards and grab. Oh no, we got shield, didn't we? Uh oh, we still need two extra people because we need six. Shit. Oh, bollocks. I thought we had four already and we hadn't gotten shield yet. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Go away. Just let me refuel my fucking vehicle. Just for once in this game, please let me refuel my vehicle without getting interrupted. I'll do anything, please. I'll suck a dick. Oh, suck a dick. Right, here we go. Uh, let me go ahead and put a boombox outside. I mean, the boombox helped. Um, but not that much. So I'm going to put it over the fence. In the hopes that the zombies will climb over the fence. And sort of spend a little bit more time faffing around with that. Come with me. And you'll see... A world of me stomping you in the face. Holy shit, where are all these coming from? Where is the... Oh, here it is. Oh, and I've got my thermite grenades as well.
Okay, now back off, we'll go get in the corner. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, hide. Hiding time. <laughs> I mean, if I can get more than two, then I'll get more than two. Um, Because why not? I mean, if we need the influence, then we might as well. Okay, command center is upgraded. I mean, maybe we can try and get the signal boosting outpost. That might be something kind of nice to get. I've never really gotten anything like that. So I genuinely wouldn't really know. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, Pagan. Oh, Pagan. Oh, Pagan. Okay, okay, okay. What is this vehicle up here? Because we... Oh, we did refuel the other vehicle, the Rams. Okay, we need to get to the Rams, we need to get to the Rams, we need to get to the Rams. And then I'm going to have to do, like, a fucking a switch up. We're going to have to go back to base very frantically, grab dice, and then come back and finish this place off and hopefully go get the other. I am so glad that I'm not doing, like, the whole no blood plague thing for this playthrough. Because that would be bullshit. The issue is though, we are at the other side of the fucking map. So I'm just manifesting I can get over there quick enough. I don't know if four minutes is going to be enough time for me to get there. If not, this is going to be a really bad end for Pagan. After everything she's been through. Okay, so attempt number two with dice. <laughs> Um, we'll see how this one goes. I mean, once we've got these cleared out and we can, like, chill out again. We can chill out, we can start working on building the team back up, and we can move into lock and key. Um, I was gonna be like, oh, well, maybe I can just clear out as many as possible in this area, but then that's kind of, like, anti what I've been going on about this entire playthrough so far of sort of taking it slow. I really don't want to push my luck and mess up. Oh, fuck off. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh, shit, the bed, man. Give me that. Oh, you fuck. Okay. Fireworks time. Go to the loud bangs, motherfuckers. Ah! Why are you not using your fucking weapon? Why would you just jump into an enemy like that? Oh, come with me now. To close the door. <laughs> One's definitely just come flying through a window. There we go. Yoohoo! Very nice. Okay, let me fucking grab that. We can come back for the rest later. I want the rucksack. <laughs> we'll go grab the rucksack from the previous one as well. Because I did quit out of the game in between um, this jump cut and the last jump cut. Um, because we're on a new day. We're on a new day. I had a day off yesterday. Um, the day that I recorded the first half of this video. Because um, I woke up and just was really not doing great. Like physically. Um, won't get into details because they're bathroom related. <laughs> I feel like that's detail enough. Um, but yeah, I was like, when I was recording yesterday, I was just completely out of it. And was just like, yeah, I don't know how much of this I can sit down and record. Um, 
it was one of those cases where like I was really really ill for the first half of the day and in the second half of the day I felt fine until I sat down to actually like do something and pay attention to something and that's when I was like oh maybe not maybe not maybe we will not be doing that <coughs> okay yeah we could do with uh, going to a wandering trader Wait, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Grab, grab, old piss. God, heavy weapons are so bad for taking out individual zombies. They are horrific. The good thing is... How, wait. Take out two play cards killed in close combat. Did I not just do that with, like, both of these? I'm really confused. Why has that not counted? Like, what else counts as close combat? That's really weird. Um, okay. How are we doing for influence? We're on 1,600, so we've got enough... Oh, nobody's got um, enough influence. Oh, that's weird. We're going to have to do some missions as dice. Uh, we've got somebody that's got a demand for food, actually, so we will do that mission. I don't usually do the demanding missions, um, but it'll get us some influence, so we'll do it. But yeah, it's really really weird that nobody's got sort of like enough influence to become the leader yet uh okay so we're gonna have to try and find a food rucksack let's go over to this tartan mart we'll see if there's one here this is the uh the tartan mart that i would like to claim as a outpost when we move base because i think the positioning of it is pretty decent oh my days This is fucking insane. A feral? Not on this day, please. For the love of God. I'm trying my hardest. Where is there a feral? Oh, there he is, okay. Come on. Fuck you, big boy. Now we've got the issue of that's going to attract every motherfucker and their dad. Oh, that was sick. Fuck off. Come on. Go away. Uh, freaks killed with melee. Uh, screamers killed with rifles. I was hoping we'd have one to do with a car so I could run these cunts over. <laughs> Get off. Holy shit. Yeah, I... Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Because I cannot take out these... In fact, unless I can take these out with a car, I'm gonna get out of here. Because I can't take them out with this heavy weapon. This heavy weapon just ain't cutting it for me. Okay, is that gonna be enough? I think that might be enough. I literally just need like five fucking seconds to see if we can get a rucksack of food. Heavy weapons are so bad. One minute. Uh, I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. I've had enough. I'm putting my foot down. I've spat my dummy out. There we go. So let's go and give those to the tenants. And that should give us some influence. Motherfucker, go away. <laughs> Fuck off. Please. Oh my days. Uh, and then what we will also do is... I'm going to recruit somebody. So that we can get five people. I think it said that we need six for the lock and key. Let's just double check. I think it's five for the office. 
Yeah, we need six. We could do a mission for the Brewers, and the Watchful Bystanders we can get somebody for free. So, we'll go over to the Watchful Bystanders on the way back and we'll recruit one of them. And then, we're gonna have to start working our way through the Brewer missions. Because, if we go down like a certain route with them, like I've said before, we can probably recruit the entire Enclave, or at least two out of the three. I think one of them leaves by default, do they not? I think one of them leaves town. I'm not sure. So we'll see. If I can bait one of them into dying, <laughs> then we might be able to get them quicker, but... I think once we get into the lock and key, we're going to be, like, solid for the rest of the game. I don't think we're going to need to move into the storage container base. I'm kind of avoiding mega bases until we go to Drucker County for Bloodline. And, uh, we go to, like, the strip mall, for example. Because the strip malls are genuinely good. I mean, all of the big bases are genuinely good because of the amount of slots and stuff you get. But, I think for the purpose of lethal, it's not really that useful. I think it's like, um, it's just a bit overkill, in a way. Like, did we use, yeah, we used the biggest base for Trumbull. And... It was kind of overkill. It did make things very, very, very easy. And we didn't really need it to. Let's go ahead and pick up whatever this mission is. So that we can at least start it. Why are you guys in a fucking shed? Oh, it probably didn't help that I had a rucksack on my back. Oh no, I, I didn't have it that entire time, did I? I thought I had it the entire time. I didn't, it's fine. Never mind. What is this? I'm glad you showed up, ready to pick up a few things for the still, sure. Oh. That's fine. We can, uh, so I think they usually go and get, like, the still parts, and then I think they move base, do they not? I feel like they move base. I can't fully remember. Hello, are you Ellen? You are Ellen. I have some food for you. There we go. We've got a, a hundred influence. And we've increased standing slightly, apparently. Right. Let's go down to... Oh, the warehouse is a fucking infestation. That's not good. Uh, okay, I mean, we're going to have to just see if we can clear it with what we've got. It might be a small infestation, to be fair. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. Not feeling too good. Oh, not this motherfucker. Okay. Did you get bit by a plague zombie? Nope. Not unless plague zombie is a brand of beer. Okay, that's the main motherfucker down. Look, dude, I just need you to be a distraction <laughs> so that I can slide in and fucking execute them from behind. Exactly like that. Brilliant. Oh my god, he was chewing through those. That was surprising. Oops. We got some parts. Where are the rest of these zombies? Oh my god, I did like a bicycle kick. Oh, that's sick. Oh, it's a knee. I had no idea I could do that. That's awesome. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, at least these are not plague zombies, so that's a plus. I don't know if that was one of the ones that were actually part of the infestation. Oh, I think it was. It was, okay. So we're down to two. Infestation level? 
level is Boom. zero. Thanks for the hard work. Oh, sorry, madam. Oh, my days. <laughs> okay, Dice is a fucking badass, apparently. Like, as long as you've got good stamina, you could go around, like, fucking unarmed. What a prick. Okay. I think there's only, like, one, one, maybe, one more mission? One more mission for the Brewers, and then we have an opportunity to recruit? I don't know. I feel like there's only one or two more. But, uh, we'll go round to the Watchful Bystanders. Uh, we'll go grab one of them, and then we will call it a day, because I feel like... We've done quite a bit this episode. We've been quite productive. We've got two play carts out of the way. Um, and we're building up some good... Some good survivors. We're getting the brewery mission done. It's going well. It's going well. Hello? Okay, what have you guys got for me? Who's, who's who? So we've got chemistry. How do you pronounce her name? Neve, Nevaya, nutrition, <laughs> hey, um, good to see you again. and then people skills. I mean, I don't really want any of those. <laughs> like, maybe out of everybody, the chemistry. We don't have anybody with chemistry, and I think with chemistry we can make things like C4. So I'm leaning towards Gabe. Good to see you alive. Yeah, we're gonna go with Gabe. Come with me. Okay, we're up to five people. It's going pretty well. Let's go ahead and enact rationing. Because we've got a lot of got a lot of food being eaten. Uh, at least now we can last like at least two or three days uh, without sort of like worrying too much about food. Uh, members can be recruited from the tenants for 750. Oh, that's weird. Oh, th shall we go around there? Oh god, I need to refuel. Okay, one minute. Let's go back to we'll go back to base. We're going to refuel. Because if I can pick up somebody from the tenants, next episode we'll be able to move base because we only need a little bit more influence. I thought because the tenants were having a demand for food, I thought that would make them like remain as like a grayed out enclave that would just continue to demand shit but i guess some people demand shit and then become your ally i did not know that <laughs> i always avoid people that demand shit from me in this game because <laughs> i'm like well it's my shit go away i got it myself what up everyone i'm back what up uh shield shield you're gonna go do some recruitment with your pansy, flimsy little weapons. Oh, not your fucking arm. I don't know if you've noticed, but she's got like a bit of a filter on her, f on her voice. And I think it might be because of the mask. It's very weird. It's a strange little choice. But I kind of like it. Uh, should we trade some of these while we're there? I don't think we're going to really need to, to be honest. Uh, we kind of just need some gas, and I don't think we've got any. But we've got a decent amount of fuel for now. We could do with... We don't have a fuel outpost, do we? We could do with a fuel outpost once we move base. So if we get a food one and then a fuel one, and then I think we'll be okay. I think, like, in the past, I've mostly focused on, like, trying to overload myself with a set amount of a certain, um, outpost. So, like, I always try and get two materials posts or two food posts to try and, like, completely cover that material so that I don't have to... To completely cover that resource so I don't have to worry about it. Um, but I feel like, in reality, 
having sort of like one of each to just kind of ease all of them might be a little bit better. Because I'm always looting stuff anyway. So it's just a case of like... Because I think in one of our previous playthroughs I had like 30 or 40 meds, which is insane. I've had like nightmare runs where I don't even have that much. Hey buddy, okay, L. Almost missed you. Okay, good. You've got a spare slot, that's good. Ellen has got a dra Ooh, driving. I think I remember driving being good and you've got cooking. So Dennis is off the platter. Sorry, Dennis. Pun intended. Do I want driving or do I want an open slot? That's the issue. I think I want an open slot because we could really do with... So we've got Shield who's got an open slot. Uh, we need to teach somebody computers and we need to teach somebody gardening so yeah i think l you're the one that i want so you are the one i want you on our team them not so much i need some target practice brilliant we've got a we've got a six person squad it's going well we uh, do need to kit them out in some outfits that look a little bit better, but I'll get on that. Because <laughs> I don't really like their default outfits. But, we are going to leave it there. Uh oh. We're going to get the fuck out of here. We're going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Feel free to leave a thumbs up. Next episode, we'll hopefully be moving into the lock and key base. Subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to go check out some of the other content on the channel. There's Minecraft Avengers. There's all sorts of stuff going out at the moment. And I'm going to be uploading Metro. Um, closer to Halloween. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.